right, boys. So we're back, and my goodness gracious, does the Toronto Maple Leafs ever look different now? Can you can you guys believe I did this? Hang on one second here. Got to turn down the volume. There we go. Look at this, though. Oh, my goodness gracious. Nikolai Kuhlman, Ryan Getzleff, and Phil Kessel now on one line. Can you believe that? Ryan Getzleff. I think this guy is going to be the perfect combination for Phil the Thrill. Just because his offensive awareness and passing rating. And also, he can play so many roles because he's strong defensively. That's what we need in Toronto. We need that first line center. So there you go, boys. We also, because James Reimer is not ready, Jonas Hiller, who is an 85. He's an above average goalie. He's nothing He's nothing special, right? But the reason he's a steal is because we got him with Ryan Getzlaff. His trade value wasn't the highest. He's better than James Reimer. He fits into the contract situation. And he can be there until James Reimer gets to an 85, which will take a year or two. So James Reimer is still going to be a goalie for us. But Jonas Hiller is going to be here right now to help us get into the playoffs. And once we're in the playoffs, anything can happen. And then once I get to the trade deadline, I can make some more trades here. But I definitely think we're going to be, we're definitely going to be a good team now. Definitely. So best lines, hang on. Let's see if we have anyone here again that I don't want. No, we're good. Uh, actually, I'm going to have to go back to roster moves, boys. Just because I traded away, uh, remember we traded away Gustafsson. Oh, excuse me, Gustafsson, Bozak, and uh, Grabowski, and two first-round picks. So, yeah, it was a bit steep, boys, but I'm not interested in draft picks. I'm really not. Stanley Cup is coming to Toronto, okay? We have the, the players in place, and we actually have Kadri, Colburn, Ollie Gardner, James Reimer, who's going to play in the rookies in, in the minors, sorry. So, we have prospects. I saved the years for the next three years. So, yeah, we don't have two two trades in the next uh, in year four or five, but that's okay. That's okay. I'll make up for it. Don't worry. I'll get them back. Um, but right now, hang on a sec. Centers, one, two, three, four. Dupuy we don't need. Okay, hang on. I got to bring some guys up. One, two. One, two, three, four. Crab. Uh, okay. One, two, three, four. four, four two, two, two. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Before I do any of the lines, what I want to do is, I forgot to mention this too. I'm going to have, I'm going to introduce a cleanup rule kind of thing. Before I start every GM mode, I'm just going to be able to trade away players who uh, are not, who are kind of just negating me from being able to do things because I, I will run into that problem. I got lucky in the first couple. I'm not going to trade them away for any amazing draft picks. Only only fifth uh, fifth overall draft picks, okay? And I'm going to trade away a lot of them when I can get like, you'll see what I do. Watch, watch, watch. Okay, so Boyce, not going to need him. Uh, Dupuis, not going to need him. These two guys, McKegg and uh, Crescenzi, 19 years old. We'll keep all the rookies, okay? But uh, Caputi will keep, Mueller will keep, Migo, uh, Hamilton, 26. No, nah, we don't need him. I mean, we just we just don't need him. Uh, Rose Hill will keep because he's a tough guy. Uh, all these guys, yeah, we'll keep all of them. Right wingers, uh, Joey Crab, we don't need. Uh, go down, um, Matt Fratton, I wish I could keep this guy, guys, but he's just, we just don't need him, like, he's not gonna, you know what, because he's 23, I won't get rid of the young guys, because that's, yeah, uh, Colton Orr, we don't need, so there you go, five players, if I wanted to, I could probably get, um, a couple draft picks for this, but look what I'm gonna do, boys, I'm just gonna find a team who can accept this, eventually there'll be a team who can accept this, and I gotta find the salary first, there you go, Tampa Bay, okay, it's nothing special, I'm just cleaning up the team a little bit, go through. I could have gotten a fourth or a third for, like, two of those players or three of those players. So that's all I'm doing. These don't count as trades. All right, I'm just cleaning up the team. That's a new rule I'm going to – because if I want to sign free agents or if a trade comes at me, I don't want it to be a problem because I have 50 players on the team already and they're players that I don't even need, right? So do that as well, boys. Just if you ever start a GM mode, clean up the team a little bit before you go in. It just makes everything a lot easier. Uh, Jeff Finger we don't need. Uh, Lash off. We'll keep all these guys who are in their 20s. But anyone above 25, you don't, you don't, unless there's something good that you're going to use, just get rid of them. Uh, goalies, oh, uh, don't need this guy. Well, I want to, hang on, hang on, let me just add some more because I want to be able to actually unload these players. Don't need this guy. <laughs> I know, I'm a jerk, what am I going to say, man? You just got to make some room, we don't need these players. Their trade value is nothing, like, they're not, they're not going to be part of our five-year plan. Let's see if we can get something from St. Louis, fifth year again. There you go. Nothing special, boys. So there you go. You guys seen. I did nothing. I just cleaned up the team. That's all. It's cleaned up the team. So now we don't have any players who are going to 
hurt our salary cap or do anything like that. I don't think that's too cheap, boys. I didn't use those players in a trade to get anything back. All I got back was, what, three fifth-round picks. That's it. And I could have gone for third or fourths. All right? I didn't, though. All right. So now what we're going to do is uh, best roster for now. Yep. This is going to be... The beginning of this, I told you, is a lot of trades. Um, now it's time to go to free agency. We always want to check the free agents to see what the new roster updates have, see if there's any rookies who are in there. Uh, goaltenders first. Oh, we could have, oh man, I should have checked this. Uh, Marty Turco. Ah, uh, nah, James Reimer is just as good. Nah, we didn't need Marty Turco. Forgot about him, though. Uh, any good defensemen? No. Uh, no, we don't need any of these guys. Uh, skaters now. Anybody overall? Ooh, Brian McCabe, right, right. No, he hasn't been signed yet. Oh, man. Yeah, Brian McCabe. He wasn't a free agent in our New Jersey, was he? No, they must have Paul Mara, Nicholas Bergfors, 24 years old, 82 overall. This guy must have gone back to Europe or something, right? Mike Comrie, Steve Bernie. Oh, man. There's our timer. All right, you know what we'll do in this video? We will send a bunch of these guys. Yeah, man. What did I say? I'm going to be signing and going to be trading a lot of guys. Is there any rookies first? Hang on. No, there's not really any rookies that I'm going to want. I want to make sure that I sign these guys. Hang on a second. Brian McCabe. Should I try and sign Brian McCabe back to Toronto? 36 years old. He's not bad. Offensive awareness, 85. Defensive awareness, 82. He might. He's a better player than Gunnarsson, right? And Gunnarsson, if we're, if we're, listen, if we're a playoff team, he's a better player than Gunnar. Yeah, I'm going to try and sign Brian McCabe. Why not? 2.7 mil, though. Holy crap. Oh, man, I only have .485 available. Holy, hang on a second. Hang on a second, boys. Yeah, that was the uh, the big roster thing that I did. Hang on. James Reimer. I got to bring up Ben Scribbins. What? What is this? Salary cap restrictions. Oh, my God. I'm really restricted here. Okay, can we send somebody down, Rose Hill? Yeah, okay, there's somebody down. Now we will bring up... Because we don't need James Reimer if Hillard, Hillard's going to play the whole season. James Reimer, we're going to give one year in the minors. So that'll save us a million dollars. There we go. Um, who else is a solid salary cap? Thomas. You know what I'm talking about, Thomas Eric? Good God, that's $4.5 million that I might have to trade him at the deadline. Gonna have, might have to deal with it right now, though. That sucks. Uh, you know what? For now, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to send Commissaric down to the minors because we're still in the preseason, so it's okay. Commissaric down to the minors, yeah. So now that frees up $6 million worth of salary cap. See that? top, uh, The top right. I'm also going to send down Kadri. Okay, no, I have the... Yeah, okay. But now I have 6.7. I think it was because I did best rosters. They called up a lot of players. That's okay, though. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Auto save. All right, so now we go back to the uh, free agency. So I want to get Berg Forrest and McCabe, man. That Berg Forrest guy, absolutely. I didn't know. he, he de They definitely updated the rosters because these guys weren't there for New Jersey. So Brian McCabe. Oh, excuse me. One year will give you one year 2.8. That He should come for that. Oh, excuse me. You know what? Going back for some more of my Canadian. Hang on a second. And while I do, I'm going to multitask. Nick Berg Forrest. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, we'll give this guy 1.75 over one year. I like how they only want one year. That's good for me. Um, Comrie, no. Bernier. Yeah, we'll see Bernier. He's a two-way. Yeah, two-way contract. Absolutely. Three years, 9.25. Or .925. I always say that. Arstukin, no. Robert Nilsson. Yeah, we got to get this guy as well. Two-way con. I like the two-way contracts. Uh, years. There you go, nine point. Yeah, that's fine. And you know what? Is there any other two-way guys? you got to look for guys who are young. And they're in the high 20s or 90s. They're not two-way, but 26, 26. Bergforce was a one-way, even though he was 24. That was interesting. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, I don't want a chance trying to get any of these guys just yet. Okay, so we'll finish up this video by simulating a few days, see if we got those guys that we tried to sign. See here. You don't have to worry about waivers in the preseason. That's why I sent Commissaric down. I can easily mess around with it again still. Come on, don't worry about the preseason. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, crap. I, I didn't turn injuries off yet, and I've simulated the game. Imagine Phil Kessel got injured for 12 months. <laughs> that would suck. Brian McCabe. All right, so Brian McCabe is back in the blue and white. Oh, the boo birds are going to be out. Uh, Nicholas Bergforce as well. Robert Nielsen and Steve Bernier. So we got them all. Good. 
Um, so quickly, hang on before I remember that. Boys, also always remember this. When you go in, you start your own. You cannot turn off injuries in the uh, GM setup. You have to go to settings once you've started it. Go to injuries, off. Okay? So there you go, boys. Going to wrap this video up. When we come back, it looks like we're going to start the season. All right, boys, take it easy.